Hello beautiful people, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys have all been doing well. If you didn't know, you're gonna know that this is Heart to Heart with Harriet where we talk about all things health, healing and well-being. Um, and I say we because I'm usually here with my husband, but um, today I'm on my own. Like I said before, I want to try and do a few more heart to hearts with just me, um, just really pouring out whatever it is that God puts in my heart. Um, also, I obviously, I'm not going to stop doing videos with, with him because um, I love having both perspectives in the videos. But yeah, so it just depends on the topic. If the topic is something that I feel like I just want to, you know, pour my heart out to you guys, I'm going to, yeah, just do individual ones, okay? Anyways, moving on. So today's topic... Um, I'm going to be discussing the topic of self-control and really um, it just being something that uh, I guess has come to my attention as of late. It's something that I feel like, um, you know, do you guys ever feel kind of like life is just passing you by, like things are just happening and you're just kind of like going along with it and you're just like, yep, okay, yep, next day's coming, got to go to work, got to go do this, got to go do that and yep, life just goes on. That's that's how I've been feeling lately and um, there are times when you don't feel like you have control over things, like you're just doing things, like you know, you're just doing things like, for example, you come home from work and then, you know, have a little rest or whatever and be on your phone, um, get up, okay, gotta cook, gotta make dinner, okay, gotta go to bed, gotta get ready for work the next day, and the cycle repeats, and look, I'm not saying, you know, something should be different, but it's kind of like, is this what our life is now, like, all the time, like, we just know each and every single day what's going to happen, what's going to come, and you don't really have, like, a, you're not conscious, you're not aware of what's really happening you're not in the moment you're just going with the motions um so yeah i've just really been like um meditating on that and realizing because there's this thing with me where i'll just be on my phone just all the time like you come home right you're on your phone you're at work you're on your phone you're no matter what you're doing you're on your phone i've come to realize i'm just like okay like is it every moment be on your phone? Is it every moment, do you know? Um, and I guess it's come, it's become more of a conscious, like I'm, I'm becoming more aware of it now. Not that I wasn't aware of it before, but now it's a bit like, okay, is this what you're gonna do all the time? Like, is there nothing else you can be doing with your time kind of thing? Like, other than being on your phone, when you get home, could you maybe like, you know, prep yourself a snack and just sit there meditate and think and really like try to be like okay what do I actually want to do with my time what do I want to do with my time how are you using your time like how do you actually use your time when you have your free time when you have time to do things how do you use it because a lot of the time we don't we don't actually use it very wisely if I'm honest, we don't use it very wisely. We just use it however. We're like, oh, I just... And I think there's something about us as well. It's like, you always, you kind of don't want to do anything. You want, you'd want rather just sit and do nothing. And it's like, that's actually the spirit of laziness, really. When you just want to sit and do nothing. Because one thing that I've recently learned is that time is actually like a currency. Time is one of the most important things that we, we, we have in this life. One of the most important things, and it's like, how are we using our time to develop ourselves, like to um, do the things that we need to do in this life, to progress in this life? How are we using our time, you know? Um, so, yeah, so I thought, okay, you know, let's actually, I want to I wanna talk about this topic because for myself, I've made a conscious um, effort now to be like, when I, you know, in a day, in my day, I need to be able to really like, plan out my time well and not just waste my day away doing whatever and then when I look back in the day I'll be like what did I even do today that has added to my development that has added to my um you know growth in life that has added to my goals the things that I'm trying to do in life what have I done what have I actually done today you know what have I done that's why I'm trying to be a lot more conscious that's why I thought I would talk about this topic and really see um you know where where, where it um leads us so yeah so 
I wrote a few things down that I wanted to discuss. Um, and I think one thing that I've realized and learned is that, you know, our daily habits really are a reflection of, you know, the things that are happening in our lives or why things do happen the way they're happening. So if you look at your, your patterns of your like daily life, when you get up in the morning, what you actually do in the morning, and then when you get out of bed, once you get out of bed, the things that you decide to do, if we look at the patterns of those things that we're doing, we will realize like when we get to the end of the day, why have we now um, ended up with the day that we've ended up with? Let's say, for example, um, you wake up in the morning and then you decide, OK, you know what? I'm just going to just chill in bed and just be on my phone a little bit before I get up and shower or before I get up and go have breakfast or whatever. OK, and then after that and then what? OK, a lot of us might just have work or a lot of us might have other commitments. But if you have a day that, for example, it's a day off, um, what are you going to do? You're going to be like, oh, I have a day off. Yes, I can just do whatever I want. I can relax. I can just do whatever. You don't plan out your day. You find that you sit, like for me anyways, if I don't plan out my day, I find that I will sit on the couch all day long on my phone or just chilling and doing the most useless things that are not helpful at all for me and for my growth, my development in life, you know? Um, or for example, watching Netflix all day long, watching your favorite movie all day long. Look guys, I'm not saying we can't do these things because at the end of the day, right? Like these are sometimes our pastimes, right? Like, these are the things that we do in our leisure time. And I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. But I'm just saying, is this what we do all the time? And is it adding, is it aiding to our development in life, you know? It's just been a matter of now realising, okay, like, you get up in a day and if you don't plan out your day properly, just plan to fail. You guys know that saying, plan to fail, plan to not achieve the things that you're desiring to achieve. And I think for me, I'm, be I'm becoming a lot more conscious of, okay, like I can't actually just be wasting my time. Like my time's actually precious. Like what am I doing with my time that is adding to me, that is helping me? And one of the things that, um, you know, is such a big thing to really hone in on or really focus on is self-control. Being able to control ourselves, being able to control our actions, being able to control our emotions, being able to control our thoughts and the things that, you know, um, are happening in our lives. Like we don't just, we, we can't just let them just happen. Like you don't, they don't just be happening in a day. You have to be able to be like, okay, I want to do this and this and this and this and this. And I'm not saying that you become like a control freak where you're like, oh my God, if something doesn't happen like this, it's going to be the end of the world. That's not what I'm trying to say. But I'm saying have some level of control, some sense of, okay, you know, plan out your day at least. Even if things don't go out the way you want them, because we do know things don't always happen the way you want them to happen. But at least you have some level of planning, some level of um, awareness of your day that it's not just going to pass you by and, you know, you have done nothing you have done nothing in that day kind of thing um and i think self-control you know there's quite a few verses of on self-control and some of the ones that stuck out to me the most um so one is in proverbs proverbs chapter 25 verse 28 and it says like a city whose walls are broken through is a person who likes self-control um and so that one obviously when we when we look into it it's talking about let's say for example um Obviously, we know what's going on in in Israel right now um, with the whole, you know, um, terrorist group that's like really causing a lot of um, trauma and harm. Let's imagine, you know, like the, they have a city, there's a city there and it gets broken through and, you know, a lot of harm comes to the city. You see the effects of it, you know, people are being hurt, people are being um, really tra traumatized and um, it's not it's not a good thing to see right um, the city was broken into and when we compare that to someone who has like a lack of self-control it's really it's a big stretch because I'm really using a, a, a very serious example here but it's like someone who doesn't have self-control is someone who basically gets constantly broken into let's say your heart even someone constantly keeps coming and trying to um, you know get into your heart you know affect you affect your emotions affect your will affect the the way that you do things you know let's say even in a day you 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 told yourself you'd like you know clean your house you told yourself you'd you know go for a walk go for a run but then all of a sudden like you like it's not happening you, you just all of a sudden just want to be on your phone just want to sit around and do nothing 
why is that like why is there no a uh, sense of control why is there no sense of i'm gonna do this today because i told myself i'm gonna do it today why is that you know um and i think it's something that is important to really look into and something that you should really be considering and thinking why do i not have control over the things that i want to do what is controlling me what is going on internally that i'm not able to get up and be like i told myself i would do this or i told myself i would do like an hour of study but then i've wasted my time and i've procrastinated why have i not done it do you know what i mean it's it's really like um realizing okay what actually is controlling me what is controlling me that i can't have that self control to do what i said i'll do you know um and then another one uh, is in first corinthians chapter 10:13 and it says no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind and god is faithful he will not let you be tempted beyond what um you can bear but when you are tempted he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it so we know that you know temptations come to us all the time um negative things come at us all the time and sometimes we feel for example we feel tempted to um think of an example of a situation where you know you shouldn't be doing something or for example someone comes and really like causes you to feel like annoyed and angry and you want to start like you know going off at them you you that temptation is there right you want to do it but you know you shouldn't be doing it just know that some things that come at you um cause you to have to use your self control are actually to test your character to test your ability and level of self control you know how are you able to control yourself in order to not allow these things to now overtake you not allow these things to overcome you that now you can't even control yourself you don't even know what to do how are you able to do that there are things that come at us that we have to be able to 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 realize and recognize okay this thing was brought at me to actually test me to test my character to test my patience so at the end of the day i shouldn't give in i shouldn't be like oh man like get angry start yelling at them or start lying or start getting upset or because there are things that are that are temptations that are brought to you to test you and to test your character you know if we if we give in and we give into the temptation look our spirit may be willing but our flesh sometimes is weak so we do fail but we have to remember that okay this was probably a test and next time i need to control myself i need to actually be able to be like this thing i was really meant to just hold tight and be like it's got it's okay let god deal with it kind of situation um and then another one the last one that i want to talk about is um you know galatians chapter 5 verse 22 to 23 but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace forbearance kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self control against such things there is no law we know that you know there's quite a few things of, on there about the fruits of the spirit and really it, it points out all the different fruits of the spirit the kindness the peace the joy these are the things that we are meant to actually live out these are the things that we should desire we should you know want to be living purposely and self control is one of the last ones and you know against such things there is no law if we can control ourselves if we can control our emotions if we can control our um you know level of patience we can control our our time like the things that we choose to spend our time on that's a level of self control if we can control um you know the words we speak the things we say to people if we can control okay you know like you know what today instead of just laying around instead of um just watching netflix all day long i'm going to do this and this and this and this and i'm going to be intentional about it and i'm going to make it happen because i know that it is important for me even if i feel lazy and i feel like i can't but i don't want to do it i'm still going to do it because i know i need to do it and it's for my own benefit at the end of the day you guys have to understand that when when there is something that is holding you back from doing something that you know you're supposed to be doing best believe that if it's not you and you don't want to do it there's something else controlling you and that's in the realm of the spirit we might not want to accept it but life is spiritual and things do happen spiritually that you know because you guys know internally there are things that you know if you know in your mind for example and that you have you get voices that tell you to do different things or oh, i feel like i should do this i feel like i should do this but there are voices that when when sometimes you're thinking you're like why am i thinking like this like this is not even me this is not how i think i don't even want to do any of these things that i'm being like, going through my head i don't want to think of like that i don't want to do this i don't want to do that 
spiritually that's our spiritual like beings you know really speaking and we have to be aware we have to differentiate like what what is this voice telling me now and is this voice for me is this voice from me is this voice wanting to benefit me helping me is it going to benefit me if i follow this voice really being able to control our minds control our emotions control our actions control the words we speak control the things that we do with our day control be able be able to have that self control because we know that when we don't have self control our life is just fall and throw you're just doing things you're just going about with the day with your day just doing all these random things and when it comes down to it you're like okay where's my life actually going what am i actually doing with myself because why am i where i am now have i have i have i re- really like um examined my my actions the things that i'm doing what is it what am i doing that is aiding to my growth to my progress in life um so yeah so really guys I'm telling I'm I'm here to encourage you guys all to really just be more conscious about the things you do um be more conscious about the the things that you allow in your mind because j- just know that there are voices in your mind that are not always from you and there are voices that um will, will tell you oh want you try to do this or want you do that ha ha you, if you guys think about I work with patients at work who have suicidal ideation why do they have thoughts that that like, where do the thoughts come from you know at the end of the day these are not thoughts that are from them these are not thoughts that they actually want they just they, they just say oh we get the thoughts just come to my head and i want to just do this why what's the reason you know um and do they have that self control to be like no that's not what i want to do i don't want to do that i don't want to you know like take my life you know do they have that self control or i don't want to um for example i don't want to like be upset or angry for no reason or i'm not i don't want to be anxious i don't want to be you know where are these thoughts coming from so really guys this is just a call to be more self aware to be more um self conscious and basically have more control over your everyday things in life um so yeah so i hope that this video was helpful for someone out there if you guys like the video give it a like comment and subscribe um let me know what you guys think of the video as well i'd love to hear your feedback but yeah otherwise also follow heart to heart on instagram where i just post regular um you know snippets or quotes of things that you know get put on my heart and things that i feel like are you know quite important um and yeah so thank you all so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next video